We've actually come to a, a Romanian supermarket and uh, it's actually really nice. It's, I think it's bigger than one of ours and uh, more, more bountiful, nice and big. And then came over here and of course I was drawn to the meat counter and we saw this meat and I wasn't sure what it was. It looks like ribs or something. It's like ribs or something like that because you've got these. And then if you have a look at one, it's fox meat. There's a few unusual vegetables here. These are called radici and these ones are called guli, which are quite unusual. I don't recognise them at all. Those look like spring onions. There's black ones over there. there and there's, yeah, there's black ones over here as well. These are radici as well, and they kind of look like radishes, but uh, I don't know. And these are telin, telinia. Again, it doesn't really look like anything. I think these are called usteroi, and they, they're next to the onions and the garlic, so I guess they're related, but they're, they're little, little tiny onions. Another interesting difference, if you look down the soft drinks, there's no diet products. Lots of energy drinks down there, so they've taken over over here as well. But nothing diet that I've seen yet. That's quite interesting. Um, Do-it-yourself pet food dispensers. I guess you fill up a bag, but if you can't be bothered, then they do huge sacks of cat food there. People who've seen my other films will know why I'm so excited about this this display here. No idea what this is, but it looks like mustard comes free with a bottle of water. So this is what we've really come to do. These, these houses are all being built. Um, this is a team from America from Homes for Humanity and these houses are being built for when the, the kids grow up. They, they get one of these houses. Um, they have to pay for the materials but not the labour of course because the, the labour has been supplied by volunteers. This house apparently was built in three days. And go! <laughs> and this is the British A team. Now of course we're so skilled that they're only allowing us to do plastering. <laughs> yeah, put your fag out. <coughs> they're only allowing us to do the plastering so that any mistakes we make can just be sanded over and done again properly. <laughs> yeah. There's Matt writing his name in the ceiling. <laughs> And Anna, Anna stands on tiptoes and still can't reach the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, health and safety is, is fully fully conversant in uh, Romania. Those are live wires that Matt's working by. <laughs> so with Sarah's plastering, all the walls are absolutely mirror smooth up to a height of four foot nine and a half. So there you have it, pretty much finished and ready to move in tomorrow or next day maybe. Big dog. Big barbecue. kids here have got their own choir together and put on a barbecue for us tonight and we had everybody turn up so we had people from Sweden and from Germany and Canada and Northern Ireland and Romania all together and uh, we've got some Swedes singing now but the kids put on a, a choir and there are 35 of them there I asked, um, I asked one of them if they were, they were all the kids in the, in the choir and he said no, there are 200 children that they look after so that's 20 families, all with around 10 each just amazing numbers now this is our lot up on stage <laughs> <laughs>